My face cam looks laggy to me. Does it look laggy to you? Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll find out when I become editor me. Uh, welcome to Pack Valham and another pack collection video. It is time to walk down memory lane. I will explain the jokes and shenanigans of I Lost a Lie Season 2, which is a series where it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. The basic, uh, the basic concept of I Left to Lie is that I watch an episode of the Trolled series by DGR and I make predictions about it. For each wrong prediction, uh, I eat a Bing Boozled Jelly Bean. I might make it two for season three because I have so many beans that I need to be eaten. And also, maybe to make up for me not doing it last year. Well, I did something else last year. Um, a joke or your shenanigan is anything that I find to really make this series priceless, which encouraged me to make I Buffed Lie Season 2 filled with even more jokes and shenanigans. It could be a little joke that I made, clever editing that I did, Something funny in the background could be the bird clock. Or something that is completely irrelevant to the basic concept of I Belong to Lie. There are many such types of jokes and shenanigans in DGR's videos and live streams, but they would not be included here if I did not add anything significant of my own to them. I will show the after black things in their own video. Want to control. control some of my shenanigans for I Belong to Lie Season 3 if I ever get to it this year, uh, and possibly beyond if I decide to do so, submit a response to my iSwitches form. If anybody has submitted any responses, you can see them in my iSwitches spreadsheet. Alright, I will not be showing you any of the files in this video, but I will when I become editor of me, I insert the for episode one part five that I've already recorded. And yeah. How about I insert it right here? Give me that ten eighty P it's Saturday. Dave has a new episode of the Troll. It's Saturday. Dave has a new episode of the Troll series, and you know what that means. It's Saturday, part A. It's Saturday. Dave has a new episode of the Troll series, and you know what that means. Continue where I left off with last week's troll episode. Hello my friends, welcome to- This joke mainly points out that the current episode is taking a while. Another trolled episode has been released since the one I was currently working with because this episode of I Belong to Lie Season 2 was not finished before the next Saturday, which is the day of the week that Dave consistently uploads episodes of the trolled series. Uh, since then, there have been more episodes of the Trolled series uploaded on other days of the week, but for I Belong to Lie, I was only using some of the Saturday ones. Uh, Chrome I Belong to Lie. I Belong to Lie series season two. The I Will Off the Lie series, season 2, episode 1, part 5. This is the series. There are different ways in I Will Off the Lie, season 2, where I put I Will Off the Lie on the screen in some creative way. Use the. Okay, I'm just gonna start off. There are different ways in I Will Off the Lie, season 2, where I put I Will Off the Lie 
on the screen in some creative way, usually with a sound effect or part of a piece of music. This is the second. The music that I used is Chrome Zone by Shane Ivers, available on Silverman Sound Studios with a Creative Commons by Attribution license. Setting the playback speed to 0.25 while trying to seek to the timestamp I went to, well, uh, well, it helps because then it would take four seconds to, you know, increase the seconds on here by one, and so it can help, uh, um, like like the the lag wherever I, I can play it, and then I can pause it if it takes you know less than four seconds, then like you know. You know, even between one and four seconds, and then when I pause it, it will still be on the same second here, and then, yeah. Hot ding dongs for days. Hot ding dongs. <laughs> Hot ding dongs. Hot ding dongs for days. <laughs> These days. Days, there is a lot to balance. Super Mario Maker 2 has a ding dong sound effect, among others. When, Dave's he when, when Dave hears them, he likes to call them hot ding dongs. Sometimes, I think especially when he hears many of them, he says hot ding dongs for days. That is why I said it here. I put text on the screen to emphasize what I said, namely, hot ding dongs for days. When the Grammarly ad narrator says days, the text changes to days to show that we both said that word coincidentally. Hey, look at that. Quickly respond. That's better. Yeah, the quick response is better than when it lags. Anyway, that's better. But Grammarly ensures you communicate at your best. Best, wherever That's you better. write. Scoot the chair up or pump the chair up. That's better. The chair at our computer has one of those pump thingies that can be used to adjust the height of the seat. I used it to go up so that my head was more in the middle and not at the bottom of the face cam with some of the bottom of my face being out of sight. Tracing a box indicated what I was about to talk about. Fast video loading. Wait a minute, I just realized. There's a limited, or I mean, there's a certain number of key coins in the level, and you have to collect all of the key coins in the level. And that fills up that entire bar, and then you get a key. So how these twice twices work, it has to use the same exact key coins. Uh, the same exact twice twices that entire bar. All the key coins of. Key Wait a minute, I just. That is just so. Wait a minute, I just realized. There may have been some kind of glitch on YouTube that made that made the spinny circle spin very fast. However, back when I was typing this explanation that I am reading to you right now, or you are reading this yourself, I made a joke about it. The reality is that I sped up that part of the recording in Filmora. And also there were multiple instances throughout Abelfly Season 2 where I sped up parts of some clips. I have a problem. My name is Dave. And I have a problem where I call Wigglers Pokies. Or in this case, he calls Pokey Wiggler. My name is Bryce, and I will off to life. Don't know how I'm going to finish this. Oh, wait, I do. 
Oh wait, but I hadn't finished it, but I'm still keep going. See, it's a paradox, I say. I couldn't think of anything, so I say that I don't know how I'm gonna finish it. But then that finishes it. And then I do know how I'm finishing it. That's how I'm finishing it. But then I say that, but then it's not finished anymore. Dave just passed through a pokey and accidentally called it a wiggler. Somebody in chat called him out on it. Dave admitted his problem. I was about to do, to do the same thing, but I paused at I. So editor me took me saying I bluffed a life from earlier, cut out the first I, and used the I that I paused at instead. Half mystery begins to play. I properly finished it by saying that I did not know how to finish it. However, that finished it, so I mentioned that. However, that did not actually finish it, and er, finished it as I said something else, so I really did not know how to finish it. That created a paradox. Time stamps, not thumbnails. At the part two, I buffed the last thumbnails by some er, time stamp, but I haven't done part three. I accidentally called them thumbnails, but they are actually timestamps. I made that mistake before at 5 minutes 38 seconds of part 2, but I corrected it then, so I put the correction here. Bad grammar. Don't worry about this good grammar. Don't have to type the grammar good here. I don't even have to speak good with grammar. There was bad grammar in the prediction. I spoke with bad grammar. Better grammar would have well instead of good to describe how I was typing and speaking. This is not a formal document. This is a humorous video all in good fun so good grammar is not important. In fact, bad grammar adds to the humor. Watch this. Watch this. Boop. I moved my face cam below the play button and pretended that my finger reached up and pressed the play button. Boop. Lurking modulation. Shows my thinking. Disagreed, then agreed, then disagreed. So that's my final answer. The title of the video comes from earlier when Dave passed through a pokey and accidentally called it a wiggler. The next thing in the title is Lurking Sloth, the name of the current background music, which, of course, I played with. It was about to end, but I decided to start it over and modulate it up a whole step by increasing the pitch by two, from A minor to B minor. Lurking ending modulation.
more modulation. I modulated the last bit of the ending up a half step by increasing the pitch by one from B minor to C minor. After that, I played it again, but this time up another half step from C minor to C sharp minor. Except that means my beads are going to be around here longer. I'll stop mentioning each specific modulation, but do know that there are others. Speaking of my beans being around, I really should get rid of them. Fun fact, I've gotten more uh, beans being boozled and also... I'll just tell you, the Harry Potter Birdie Bot bots every flavor beans. I have both of those. So, and I still have that big box that includes the, you know, the skunk spray and the dirty dish water. Actually, the new beans also have those. But, I mean, the big box, I still have those. So, I think for season three, I'll eat two beans for each incorrect prediction. Just to help get rid of the beans. Uh, okay. Amber alert. Kate Wallace has now been missing for four days. We had evil living among us. Jeanette's not who you think she is. Hmm, I don't remember getting the Amber alert for that. But of course, this. Uh, I think that's it's just a show, not real. An ad for Cool Summer played. It is a song by Taylor Sw- Wow. Oh. Why do I have so many typos? Why did I forget the Y in Taylor? An ad for Cool Summer play- Okay. An ad for- Okay, editor me. Okay, uh, well, I'll probably just quit recording today at part 5, but Editor Me might save part 5 and do the rest 6 and 7, so 5, 6, 7 next time, and only do 3 and 4 for this video, and we'll do 5, 6, 7 next time. Though next time, there will not be any files being shown, since I only have 2 recordings per episode. And so that'll take, that'll leave more um, reasonable time for explanation. So anyway, an ad for Cool Summer played. It is a song by Taylor Swift on her album Lover. No, wait, actually, that is not it. The ad was for the drama series about a teenage girl named Kate Wallace who goes missing. In the United States, an Amber Alert is an emergency broadcast for missing children. When an Amber Alert is broadcast, as many information broadcasting media, radios, televisions, smartphones, electronic highway signs and billboards, and some websites, as possible are interrupted if something else is going on and they show the urgent important information about the missing child. My joke was that... Oh. Okay, well, I don't know that person. My joke was that I had not seen an Amber Alert for Kate Wallace, which was because this is a drama series, not a real case. And then my joke now was that I got an Amber Alert while reading this, which is, it will be a huge coincidence, but no. Editor me just inserted the a sound of Amber Alert, so... And then I, um, I pretended I got an Amber Alert. But I just know Amber Alert. Not a sitcom. What do you call a kind of show? That it like has uh, characters that are not real people in real life. They're people or characters made up for in for the show. 
like a sitcom, but the genre of the show is not a comedy. It's like thriller or or drama or suspense, something like that. It's not a reality show because the characters are made up and scripted, but it's also not a sitcom because it's not a comedy. What do you call that? Well, you just answered your own question there, buddy. Genres such as sitcom, situational comedy, rom-com, romantic comedy, other kinds of comedy, horror, thriller, drama, medical drama, etc. can be used as discrete nouns to refer to specific works of those genres. For example, Carlos Angry Meg is a uh, court drama movie play that is set almost entirely in a jury room. And I have a video idea. Okay, this is a long video, even if I'm saving it, saving parts of time from you for next, this, next, this time, this time, this, 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 that, that. Have you ever had a, a dream where, where you, you, you had a, had a dream where, anyway, actually I have a civics teacher, and she was 12 in the middle of 8th grade. And then, part of the curriculum in 11th grade, English class was 12 minutes, and I'm already familiar with it from 8th grade. And then I decided to write my own thing, and I have to react for it. Not the politicians, so there's a time I thought about the politicians. I'm talking too much, but um, I want to finish what I'm saying. But then I decided, no politicians, no. Not going to propose three acts for each act of jury room. Then I decided, no politicians, no. Not going to propose three acts for each act of jury room. And then I decided, no politicians, no. Not going to propose three acts for each act of jury room. And I went off on a sine over cosine tangent. Walk through the wiggler. Now we can actually walk right through the pokey. See, I said it right that time. Yep. Okay, that time. If you have the shovel, then you can walk right through the wiggler. I know I said Wiggler <laughs> as a joke. America 24. Okay. With the shell net giving Mario protection, he can walk through the pokey. However, the pokey takes it from him and he can't get it back. Dave said it right that time. It's a pokey. I jokingly, not accidentally, called it a Wiggler. Coming up hot. There was a delay between the computer audio and this that was recorded and the sound that came out of the speakers and into the microphone. Thank you, Thank you so much, chat. The text is orange, like hot fire. Harder fire is blue. I don't know. Since then, while re-watching this series, I have noticed it in other times. While editing this, I noticed it, but I guess I did not notice it other times while editing. It is very difficult to hear, though. When I put the homophonic text here, here on the screen, you have to listen very closely to hear a tiny bit of the computer audio through my blues snowball before the direct recording by Fumura's software. The video clip shown of me talking about it came from 38 seconds into part 4. Lurking! I tricked you. You thought I would play Lurking Sloth again. Well, here is just a little blurb of it. 
Well, here's just a little blurb of it. However, Rush is playing. Quietly, though. In fact, much of my music, at least thus far, is pretty quiet. This just in! This just in! I... This is correct, actually. I had thought that the prediction about using the pea balloon to fit through the gap above the conveyor was incorrect, but it actually was correct. So, uh, so I changed the actual correct and bean text. This just in is a phrase that news people can say when they suddenly receive a news story or more information for a story. So I played Stereotype News by Raphael Crux. Pokey before O. What is that thing called, Dave? Okay. It, it's a pokey. Uh. I guess I would not let Dave go about mixing up pokies and wigglers. I asked him what it was called, thinking he would say pokey or wiggler. He didn't. He didn't say what it was, so I did. Oh, after Pokey. Okay, okay, so do I just want to chill here? Hot ding dongs. Here is another instance of me mimicking Dave's faces. This time, it is an open mouth face, colon O, followed by a closed mouth face. How could I make an emoticon of that? Pronounce botany. All math is science, but not all science is math. That's fair. Now that I can, I can. What science field does not use math? Ecology. Plant science. Botany. Botany, botany. Botany. Okay, botany. Uh, biology. Okay. I was trying to figure out what science field that does not use math. Computer science, chemistry, and physics use math. I figured that maybe ecology, plant science, and biology do not use math. Plant science is botany. I was unsure of the pronunciation of botany, so I searched for it in a new tab. Two more. Come on, Mr. Wiggler! Oh. Mr. Wiggler, get out of the way, please! Or should I say Mr. Pokey? <laughs> okay, uh, enough of that. After hitting the P switch, the axe is revealed. Suddenly, before Mario can reach the axe, a Wiggler comes up and blocks the axe. I encouraged Mr. Wiggler to get out of the way, but Wigglers do not take commands. I had to bring up a pokey again, referring to Dave mixing up pokies and wigglers. Sleepy Dave. <laughs> yeah. 
You see? You will see. Dave and I. Next time. And hopefully Dave will be awake next time. <laughs> Looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> okay, but until then, until next time. Take care. Grammar check. I should have said Dave and me because you will see me next time, not see I next time. Where I paused, Dave's eyes were mostly closed and it looked like he was sleeping. Editor me cropped and zoomed so you can see Dave's face and me talking about Dave's face better. Alright, I recorded- I- yeah, I'm- no way I'm doing parts three through seven in the same video. And I'm not going to record anymore. But, I, I, but I, I've already done three through five here, but I'll just save five for next time. So just what it is, two, the, the three and four. For our one video, and then we'll do five, six, seven, four. Well, I mean, well, I mean, we're in part five, so for you, what's next is part six. But for me, um, I have to edit three and four. Yeah. Okay, how about I'm going to save my outro, but editor me will put this, will reuse this for the end of three and four, and also end of, you know, five, six, seven. Alright, now you should have just seen part 5, and I'm going to move over to part 6. Oh, okay. I thought there would be text from editor me put right there. And Hello world, okay. Now there's something. And I'm going to look silly if editor me does not put text there. Yeah, okay. So I don't have to click this so much, I... Well, there, there's already a hotkey where I could use the F9 to play pause, but I changed it to a plus sign, but it doesn't, doesn't matter. Let's see if it works. I don't have to click down there so much. I can just press the plus sign on the numpad. Let's see if that works. Liturgy of the intro. I Blocked the Lie, season two. I the Lie, season two. A series, it's been a lot of fun to look like an idiot. <laughs> With the webcam big... There is a new font, and the color this time is red. The music is a part of Liturgy of the Street by Shane Ivers. Available on Silverman Sound Studios with the Creative Commons by Attribution License. I am the video. With the webcam big like this, it looks like I am the troll episode. Yeah, I'm the I'm the annoying yet good troll level. <laughs> yeah.
Dave is usually here. I can make Dave magically appear. One, two, three, boom. Uh, there he is. Okay. I thought it so was kind of funny and clever to make my face cam big and cover the video to make it look like I was the video. Dave is usually in the bottom left corner, so I magically made him appear there. I played some of Half Mystery. How did I make Dave magically appear? Alright, here's how it's done. I'm about to reveal... The secret. That is what Evan Era does. But I will talk more about him later in this series. The pack collection. Uh, I've left like season two explanations series. All I did was resize my face cam to make it smaller from the bottom left corner. So Dave was revealed. I wonder if who could have ever guessed that? How I did it? That oh, way yeah, I can just. It seems to work. No. So, so one thing about clicking down here, I can act actively see if it's a uh, play or pause. But clicking the plus button. Well, I mean, I know if it was previously paused, like while trying to find the timestamp, then I know press the plus button will play it, and then vice versa. So if it's recording, press the plus button, then another pause, but just to be sure. Still click down there, but anyway. A notification. Actually, I think I remember. It was not a key death, but it still could be. Notification? Ah, uh, it's Dr. Mike. Okay. Suddenly, a YouTube notification appeared, which is that white one inside the red circle beside the gray bell. I opened the notifications to see that Dr. Mike uploaded a short about the Johnson & Johnson vaccine. He is that cool Russian-American YouTube medical doctor that says pee whoop at the end of the intros of his videos. I found an image of a P-switch of the same game style as the troll chorus and used it as the P in pee whoop putting the rest of the text in a matching purple color beside the P-switch. Velociraptor. That's fine, this is I will have to lie. That's fine, this is I will have to lie. I will have to lie. I will have to Yeah, Velociraptor is entirely an improv thing with a little bit of structure with making predictions and stuff. Does it work out? Oh yeah. My father was making noise in the kitchen in the background, but I was perfectly okay with it. These jokes and shenanigans are what really make this series priceless. And now I am explaining each and every one of them. But there are so many, so I might skip some of the very simple ones that are not worth explaining. I have an example of that. I forget for which video, but I'll... Um, my father thought, or pretended, that I said Velociraptor in instead of I love to lie, which he may not have known the name of. So, there's... Um, uh, I think it was in the annoying episode, there was like a little blurp sound, but that's almost nothing, so I got rid- so I got rid of it on here. Work out!
gonna work out? Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I should do that too. Don't you think we need to finish the chase? Yeah, I've started an episode of The Chase. I can get behind. My mother and I like to watch a show downstairs while we exercise. Such shows have included The Unexplained, Supermarket Sweep, The Hustler, The Chase, and Inside Eats. Previous to this time in the video, we had started an episode of The Chase, so we planned to go back downstairs to watch the rest of it. Kevin McLeod has a fast, silent film score piano piece called The Chase, which I remembered, so I included it in the video. Uh, okay, here's, here's, here's something... Uh, Kinda of funny, but anyway, coincidental. Before I change the timestamp, notice where we at right now, where I paused at. I paused at right at 2.42. And the next timestamp for me to get to is 4.24. So like, the two fours are swapped. Alright. That was an unplanned coincidence. Oh, here's another magic trick. Gonna magically make my... F make Teleport. I can teleport. Ready, set, boom. I teleported. <laughs> can I disappear? Well, I can make myself invisible just like I did with... Well, I had invisible ink for... I think it was the tower video. Do I have ADHD? I don't think so. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Probably not. I have Asperger's. I know that. I've mentioned that before. Is that why I'm getting distracted so much? By the way, your video's not frozen, that was just uh, still for a moment. Or two. I just want to make it clear, I do have an Asperger's diagnosis, but I do not have an ADHD diagnosis. I did have an OCD diagnosis sometime before the Asperger's diagnosis. It's different again! It's different again! What? Oh, yeah. It looks like an anti bed. Okay. That was just a blow, Joe. Why did it take so much to just pause the video? Oh, there was that lag. There are like three things I could do to play or pause. Click anywhere in the video here. Like between like that corner, that corner, and that corner, that corner. Or this. Actually, I actually thought of a fourth one. And space bar. The fourth I thought of is K. Then you can use J and L to seek. Like the left, right arrow keys. Anyway. Here's that quartification thing that I like to do again. We heard Dave say. It's different again! In the previous I Bluffed Away Season 2 video, but I did not quantify it then. Wait a minute, how did I go back to 424? How did, how did I do that? That's sick. Coincidence. I need to go for 20 seconds to 444. So it's um, 5, 10, 15, 20. Alright. It's fortified again! Oh. <laughs> Is that. Er, no, wait. Okay. This time, I did it with his laugh, followed by some of those annoying sounds. Um, here is how I make these cortifications. Um, editor me, record B-roll, and place it there if you can. I I'm not going to show. I'll, I'll just, just read what I have here, and then editor me will visually show. Um, I slice around copy, 
and paste on different tracks the part of the video that I want to cortify. I shrink each of the ones on higher tracks, layers, all but the bottom most, about relatively the same scale as the one below it. Like Editor B, you can uh, put text to show an example of what I mean by that. Um, finally, I pitch shift them by certain amounts to make chords. I know a little bit about music theory, and I know that each pitch shift unit is a half step, a chromatic note, or a consecutive note, or a note that is next. Femora's pitch shift limits are an octave, 12 notes. Eight of them are on a scale, above and below. I just want to be sure that it is good Play, um, recording. Baked potato. Baked potato? Yeah, sure. The goofy music, which also appeared in the clickbait video from the year before, was paused so that you can hear my father asking me if I want a baked potato. It was close to supper time here. Tater is a common nickname for potatoes. My father likes calling them pertaters, as in it's 25 cents per tater, which seems like a good price to me, so I would not get spud set at that price. By the way, I made up that sentence while typing this explanation. Well, something I might get upset about is how bad that pun is. In case you did not catch it, here is the conversation. Bryce, do you want a baked pertator? A baked potato? Yeah, sure. That's what I said, pertator. Okay, I was for, I was kind of forcing myself to have a laugh. <laughs> okay, maybe I'm not forcing myself. I thought I was forcing myself to have a laughing fit, but I don't know. Okay, I'm over it now. I am over it like Bennett Foddy. Intermission. I had to pause my production of the episode to exercise downstairs with my mother and eat supper with my family. I could have just had a cut until I left, but editor me put an intermission in to show what he, or I, did with the music. Originally, I did this for background music, but then I thought it would be better to have it by itself. I explained on the screen what I did but maybe it still is not clear. Let me, as I'm reading this, pause the recording, open Filmora, and show what I did. Oh, good news for you, Editor B. You get a small break here. Yeah, you can call it an intermission, but you didn't even have to put that text there. Yeah, 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 of course, there's nothing wrong with it. Filmora has a beat detection feature for music, which I used for all the music. I've already read it, so that's why it's disabled there. Uh, 
I have every fourth beat for classes. Um, I have every fourth beat a different color because the time signature is 4-4, four, four, which is a common time signature for quarter notes per measure. And you, you can kind of change the time signature and the beat options. Like highlight it. So, so the first one is like the time signature. I have however many beats. And the highlight is like the beginning of the measure. And the highlight offset is for where's the start. Like how, how far forward is the start of the first one. So in case it's like a pickup measure. Like little extra before the main beat starts. Mm -hmm. um, the red markers indicate the first beat of measures, and the blue markers indicate the other beats. Every eight measures, so basically you count eight red markers, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, the bottom left corner by face cam there, that's eight. Um, so every eight measures, which means every eighth red marker, I cut it and Modulated up a whole step, which means pitch shifted up by two. So go over there and cut. Then right click, um, adjust audio, or I could just double click it. And a whole step is up by two. Half step is up by one. Um. Okay. Whenever I get to Two whole steps above, or four pitches up from the original, I dropped it down an octave, or decreased the pitch by 12. Basically negative 12 plus 4 would be negative 8. Um, for each beat before a red marker, um, I cut it there and moved it up a half step, or one pitch. So basically this one's... So if this one goes up to two, and that means I cut it there, and this one up by one. Um. Okay. I moved it up. Yeah. Okay. By the way, there should have been a C instead of a Q in the last word of the text on the screen. But a Q makes more sense to me, though, because, like, sequence? That's a Q, not a C. But... Alright. I'm a back! I'm a back! Oh. I'm a back! Oh boy, I think that was a horrible impression. That's okay. In Super Mario Bros. Wii, or a new Super Mario Bros. Wii, whenever a character loses all lives and gets a game over, five lives are restored and they get a continue. When this happens to Luigi, he says, I'm a back. That was a bad impression, but I did come back after the intermission on the same day. See if I can just do right here without pausing the recording. One, two, three. Um, EQ'd Stormfront. Board. Board. Not that one. No. I played Stormfront, but for some reason, I EQ'd it. It sounds like I EQ'd the bass out of it. I think I set the left five sliders all the way to the bottom, which removes these frequencies. At 31, 63, 125, 250, and 500. That's just here to confirm.
I have to set it to the default or everything that zero then. Can you believe that? Seen this concept before with the, the multiple. Key seen this concept before with the the multiple key deaths. Can you believe that? There's some there's something about this. <laughs> something. Yes, I can't believe that Dave has seen that concept before. I have seen him play it. My father was actually not talking about this. I don't remember what it was, but I. Could probably find out. However, it is none of your business, and I would not share anything more about it. Yeah. Allergens ad. How could they get through the door? The ad said, Allergens don't stop at your front door. I wondered how the allergens get through the door. The door is a solid object and they cannot turn the handle. Ha <laughs> ha! Obviously, they can't get through when people open the door to get through. One more for part chick, you will move over to part seven. Paul's buttons okay. Yeah. 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 Let's go, gamers. Oh. Laggy though. Do you remember when clicking the pause button on Fillmore's screen recorder, which is called F recorder, caused problems? Back then, the pause button was glitchy. Give me a chance for editor me to show you a little clip well i clicked the pause button here and and there were no problems it was this early when the bug stopped in some text editor things like chat messages comments and forum posts you can insert an emoji by surrounding the name with colons i put an example of that for the thinking face emoji here I put an example of that for the thinking face at the end of the text on the screen instead of the actual emoji. While editing, you can see the colons and the name, but for the final formatted result, the actual emoji or an image of one is put in its place. And by editing, I mean the like the form software, etc., not Filmora. Here we go, part seven. Okay, all right. All right, that's it. I'm I'm just going to cut this recording off later, and I'm, I mean, not later, but just just in a few seconds, I'm just going to cut this recording off. I'm probably just uh, work on editing it later. Uh, yep, that's it. Just cut off the recording. I now there's also another hotkey for stopping. It's a thing that's F10. I didn't change that, but well, let's just find out if that'll work. Thank you for watching. If you're all smart, click the like button. If you're genius, click the subscribe button. And you will see me next time. Until then, take care. Like, for example, 12 Angry Men can, is a uh, court drama movie play that is set almost entirely in a jury room, and I have 
a video idea. Okay, th this is a long video, even if I'm saving it, saving part five and you know, for next, this, next, this time, next time, this, 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 uh, uh, have you ever had a, a, a dreams where, where you, you had a, had dreams where, anyway, actually I have, a civics teacher did show us 12 Angry Men when I was 8th grade, and then part of the curriculum in 11th grade English class was 12 Angry Men, so, and I was already familiar with it from 8th grade. And I, then I decided to write my own thing, and, um, and now three acts for it, not acapella tunes, though there was a time I thought about acapella tunes. I'm talking too much, but I'm, I want to finish what I'm saying, but, but I decided no acapella tunes, no, not going to compose three acts for each act of Jury Room. Uh, I don't know when I'll record it. I, I've, I've tried to finish, or to, um, I have as many of the potholes filled in as I can. And when I, I finished the script, I just need a few props, and I mean, we have suitcases downstairs, I could use one of those, but then, depending on colors, I might have to change the script. I don't know when I'll record Jury Room, but now we're, um, I graduated high school, so finished my senior year three years ago, and I started the year before that. 